I'm Dr. Jackie Halstead, and I direct the Institute for Christian Spirituality. This is a certificate of Christian spirituality, and it is a year of immersion in the Christian spiritual disciplines. It's a five-course graduate certificate that gives us an opportunity to delve deeply into God, learning how to be in a deep, intimate relationship with Him and then learning how to take that out and share it with others. So I'm Dr. Josh Strahan, and I'm teaching Reading Scripture for Transformation. In Matthew 22, Jesus is asked what the greatest commandment of the law is, and he says to love God and to love neighbor, and that all the law and the prophets hang on these two commands, which suggests that the best reading of Scripture is the reading that helps us grow in love of God and love of neighbor. So we'll be looking in this class about what reading strategies best help us to grow in faith, hope, and love. This includes a really thorough reading of Scripture, looking at the genre, the sociocultural context, the language uh, that helps us better understand what's going on in Scripture. It's also important to, to read Scripture uh, with practices like Lectio Divina, meditation, uh, journaling, and memorization. Uh, those practices that help us uh, move from reading Scripture for information and allow us to read it for uh, transformation. Hi, I'm Rhonda Lowry and I am honored today to share with you some insights and information about what we're going to do in the class called Incarnational Living. It says in Acts 17 that God put us in this generation so that we would search for Him, we would grope for Him, and we would find Him. And that's exactly what we intend to help you learn how to do in a more meaningful and a more deep way as we look at what it really means to be the incarnation of Jesus in the world that we find ourselves. The Incarnational Living course will be somewhat like a homeroom course was in junior high. We will have you doing disciplines outside of the classroom. We will try to add an experiential component after each class. And we look forward to just journeying with you as you go through this year-long experience at Lipscomb University. My name is Dr. Josh Graves, and I co-teach with Dr. Halstead the theory and practice of prayer. This is a class that's focused on the ancient and contemporary understandings of prayer as a central spiritual discipline for the life of the servant leader. You will be part of a conversation, a collaborative effort to understand not only how the church has practiced prayer in church history, in the history of the church, but how the church understands the centrality of prayer today in the weekly rhythm of a leader. We will explore different voices, different teachers, different thinkers to understand the different postures of prayer and the different attitudes. This is not a class of how to pray. This is a class about how prayer has changed the lives of women and men for centuries. My name is Dr. Richard Good and the course is Christian Spiritual Traditions. I think we, even though we live in this crowded and busy world, we often feel alone. And we've been, as uh, individuals, kind of looking for ways to create community. So we have social network. And I fear sometimes the church is that way too. Even though we know we're part of a long and large community, we sometimes feel alone. And so it's good to stop on, on occasions. And, and to, as the rule of Benedict says, listen with the ear of the heart. And to remember again the repository of wisdom that the communion of saints provided for us. This course would be about taking some time, listening with the ear of the heart, um, and tapping into some of that repository of wisdom that the, our fellow saints have provided for us over the years. And I invite you on this journey. Come join us in drawing near to God and experiencing practical disciplines that take us deeper together as a community and individually into the heart of God.